Hello and welcome to another Photoshop th tutorial for the thumbnail. Nearly mixed up my words there, but we're fine. Um, basically, we're gonna be doing a Photoshop tutorial. This might work on any other program. I haven't really tested it on that yet. I just know for a fact it's easy to do on this one, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. First, you're gonna have to make a new, um, well, a new document picture image thing and the image size will be 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels so there we go that's how big it's gonna be you get a really big you're gonna get like barely any pixels in this so the quality of the thumbnail will be like really good there'll be no problems with that what is going on but anyway we're gonna be getting our uh, minecraft characters in to um into a thumbnail like I'm gonna tell you how to do that. You're gonna want to head over to a program called Minimator. The link to download it will be in the description. It's completely free. Um, there's no extra stuff you have to do. You don't have to do any surveys or any of that crap. It's just a straight free link download. You get this animation software, and you don't really have to know how to do the animation. You just have to know how to do a specific thing that I'm going to tell you how to do anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah. We're going to first start off by selecting the background color to the, to the right here of the screen. We're going to be making it green. So we've got the green sky. And then this floor, we're going to just untick the box that says show ground. And now we've just got a big screen of green. You can't really tell that we're rotating. You click just to rotate, by the way. Um, and then we're going to go over here where it says characters. We're going to add a character. You can select from characters here. You can choose... Whatever that thing is, I think that's just been <laughs> should be made up. I don't I don't really know. You got some random made up ones, but then you got like snowman, you got a wolf, you got a cow. You can have several several things in it. You know, a skeleton. You'll have to give him his own bow, or you could give him other things. Um, zombie, and of course a human. So the way you get this human which is currently Steve, to be your skin, is you see where it says skin on here, it says default. You're going to click on the drop down arrow and you can click browse. Once you click browse, you're going to go to where your skin is, where your skin's been saved. Um, if you don't have a skin, I'll leave a link in the description of a skin creating software, which is really easy to use. It's really fun. You can experiment really well. And then you can make skin. And once you've made that, you just come back here or unless you've already got that, you come back in, we're going to just select a skin. So this is my skin, this is my sort of default skin with the 3D glasses on. This is what I look like on, not in real life, but on Minecraft. I've got quite a small moustache there compared to what I am on the different ones, but that's that's not a problem. Um, basically what I'm going to do, we're going to click, like, down here in the timeline, you see where it says character 1? If you follow that along, you've got a slightly brighter shade of grey here. And you're just going to click somewhere on this line. You can see that it's clickable. Just click anywhere. And then it will come up with this menu up here with the yellow character. This is what's sort of important. You click on position. For one, you can like move your character around the screen. And then you click off that. And you can click on rotation, you can rotate the whole character, make him do flips and stuff. You can use the scroll bar for accuracy and like precision on that. I can, I can use my scroll bar here and I can go like each individual one. Or if I want to do a lot, I can just drag it around and around and around. And yeah, it's really good. It's really, it's really customizable. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put this guy exactly 90. And then what we're going to do, we're going to click below that, so we get this menu up again, below the brighter shade of grey. And you get this menu up, I'm going to add, well I'm going to add another image. You could add anything else, you could maybe be fighting a ghast. Holy crap, that's big. You could maybe be fighting a slime, a really little one. I don't know if there's any ways to make that bigger. An iron golem. A snowman. You can fight anything, but what I'm gonna do is something that I don't know. I just came up with the idea of. Um, 
I'm gonna browse. We're gonna go to where my other skin is. Where's the skins file? I'm in the wrong desktop. There we go. I'm just gonna get my tech it once. <laughs> you see, I put a much bigger mustache there for some reason. Don't really know how it happened, but <laughs> oh well. Um, I'm just gonna click somewhere on here again. The position. I'd I'd make sure that 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 where you click is aligned with where the other one is because I don't know if that makes a difference or not. So that's that's just something that I did. And then I'm gonna move him. Yeah, I don't know. You can just have fun with this, I guess. This is this is something you can really experiment with, and just have fun with it. I mean, I'm here just chilling on the floor. Don't really know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna click on my just my head, as you can see. You just click on several bits, and you just so rotate that little bit. So if I click rotation now, my head can come up. And I can sort of move my head around. Um, select one of my arms. Move that forward. Like jumping out. Move it out a bit. Make it look more natural. There we go. Look at that. Um, I'm just going to be um, editing this guy. And basically you know how to move it all. So you got this thing. Uh, so just sort of set position you want. Put whatever you want in it. Gas, zombie, whatever. Just sort of set them up in a cool fighting position that you want them to look like in the thumbnail. And then that's basically it for that step. Okay, so I've set them up in a position and I've readjusted the camera by simply right clicking and then using WSAD you can move around what depending on where your look is depending on how the rotation works and you can basically get the angle of it a little bit better maybe zoom in a bit more so you can zoom in as much as you possibly can sort of for a bigger image um, something else I'm just gonna quickly show you before I move on is you can add objects like helmets swords all this stuff and you can just rearrange them the way you want and maybe like give one of them a sword in their hand or something maybe I don't know it's something you could experiment with with something you could experiment with and maybe come up with something cool I'm sure you'll be more creative than me I'm just sort of doing this as an example so yeah uh, once you've got your position and you're happy with the way they are, you are going to print screen. Um, I don't really know what print screen is for the Mac. I think it's like something like Command Shift 3. I might be wrong, but I'm sure if you have a Mac, you'll know how to do that. But yeah, on the PC, it's just print screen, so just go ahead and do that. And once you got that, we're going to go to Photoshop, yay! And we're going to Control and V, the last tutorial, I forgot to mention how to paste. And you'll have this screen, it should be the exact size if you're running a 1080p uh, monitor. If not, it doesn't matter, it shouldn't make a difference. Um, and we're going to select the Magic Wand tool. I think it's usually the Quick Selection tool that's on the preset. But you just click and hold and it'll give you another menu and just click Magic Wand. Which, in my opinion, is so much easier to use because you just click and there we go. Everything that's green or remotely green is now selected. So we're going to control X and all that green's now been deleted. It's a transparent layer. Delete anything else that needs deleting, like that did just then. And then, um, yes, and this around the edge bit, you're just going to select. With the rectangular marquee tool? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try either. Even though I did just try, but I'm not going to try again. Anyways, yeah. So we're going to just select all this and hold shift. So you can select multiple times. It's just a quick way of doing it. And basically select all the outside bit that's just don't, just not needed. I'm going to control an X on that as well. So now. 
we just got these characters flying around and for some reason a line here as you might be able to see there just delete that um so yeah we got these characters here now with a transparent background and transparent backgrounds means you can sort of put anything as you want as a background so wherever you want these guys to be like fighting where it be a minecraft sort of world that you could screenshot and put on this you could go on google images have them fighting in any location maybe the great wall of china if you feel like you want them to be fighting on the great wall of china maybe they're not even fighting maybe they're doing something else who knows i don't know what you've done um i just know what i've done so basically what i've done is i already got an image that i think will look cool and i'm just gonna paste paste no Oh yeah, I have to apply the transformation and then and then you can paste. And that we're just gonna drag that to be the bottom layer. And voila, it might be a bit small that. It looks alright. It should sort of sort it out a bit. There we go. And now my characters are in space. You can give them an outline to make them stand out a bit more by going on layer, layer style, stroke, and select a colour of the outline. Maybe you want it white, make make it a bit fatter. You know, there's like loads of things you can do with this. And there, there we go. I think that's good. Because that, if that's small, that'll look cool, won't it? So yeah, that's good. Nice one. Yay! That's the quick total top tool. Four top top top. You can add text to it. You can do whatever you want with it. That's just sort of your characters now there in a pretty badass position. And then they're there to use whenever you want. My Photoshop has appeared to have crashed. Nope, it's just sorted itself out. Thank God. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I've got plenty of other tutorials. If you don't know what to do from this stage, I have already made a video, which is just how to make a Minecraft thumbnail. It's sort of using the same software, but adding all the background, adding the text, and whatever, whatever, and the sort of the layout of it all. So, yeah. I will hopefully see you later. Please subscribe if it helped, or at least thumbs up if it helped. And let me know in the comments if you have any troubles, if you have any problems. And I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll do my best to research it for you and try and find you the answer. So, I'll see you guys whenever, if I see you again. Goodbye.